the culture war continues in Florida. And it's sort of ironic that the announcement was made during Pride Month. It was ironic that it's the 55th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising. So the protests that are necessary for people who believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is still very much alive. And what people in power often do is try to divide and conquer. And that's what they're doing here by allowing some people to get money through member items, which is when members of the legislature put in for specific requests, and those are being honored. But the items that were in the budget were cut. And so that causes friction between organizations that really do need to stick together to make our community and our democracy work. And so what we're witnessing is a power grab between the government and the people, which is not supposed to happen in a democracy. Rat Smith or Smythe was, always tips. Who knows if they ever got the tips. How is Florida to be competitive in a world that relies on tourism, that relies on travel, that relies on education? Universities are draws for people to move into the state and prepare for the workforce. If we cut these kinds of things or we don't offer commensurately with other states of similar sizes, then Florida eventually becomes very disadvantaged. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.